So today I talk about a Ford with P0456 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0456 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system, small leak detected. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. And for some reason, the computer's seeing a leak inside of this system. So it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And there can be some differences on what's going on inside of the EVAP system, depending on the Ford, the year, the make, different things like this. And so it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific Ford to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of what's happening is that you're going to have a bunch of gas vapors inside the gas tank, and they're going to leave through a hose, and they're going to go over to what's called the charcoal canister. And this is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And then somewhere near or combined in the charcoal canister is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the computer uses this for different things. It can close it at certain times and test the system, be sure that's pressurizing, different things like this. And then the gas vapors are going to leave through a hose from the charcoal canister, and they're going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And so this is a real basic overview of what's going on. Like I said, it's a good idea to get a diagram for your specific Ford to know for sure what's happening. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0456 code? Well, the first thing and a very common thing is going to be a bad gas cap. That gas cap is a part of the EVAP system and it needs to seal or else it could cause a leak inside of the whole system and it can give out a P0456 code. And so first thing, go examine the gas cap. Be sure that's good. Doesn't look like it's damaged, cracked, or anything like this. If you do replace it, it's a good idea to replace it with an OEM original gas cap because sometimes those third-party aftermarket gas caps, they don't seal correctly. And this is also going to include Fords with the no gas cap system, like the easy fuel system. If this inlet inside of here doesn't seal up, then it's going to cause issues and it's going to cause a leak. You could go examine it and be sure that it looks like it's sealing up, like there's no debris inside of there or anything. There's usually a funnel inside the trunk with the jack that you can use to push in and out on it. And you can also use like WD-40 or something like that if it does look like it's all clogged up. But the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad gas cap or that inlet for Fords that have the no gas cap system. If that gas cap or inlet looks good, then there's some different ways to go about testing this. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever smoke come out, they would know where the leak's at and they'd be able to fix it. This is a very common method. There's a lot of low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up for like $5, $10. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about making these up. But since there's a lot of hoses and components inside the EVAP system, it can be kind of difficult to spot a leak. And so this is a common method. Another thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve. The purge valve is going to be located up inside the engine compartment somewhere up around the engine. And this is basically just a valve that opens and shuts when the computer tells it to. I made a video on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad purge valve. Another thing that could cause this sometimes is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor. And basically this fuel tank pressure sensor is what's reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the EVAP system. And so if this fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, it might be just reporting bad information back to the computer. And so there might not be no problem inside the system, but the computer thinks it is because this fuel tank pressure sensor is just reporting bad information back to it. The location of that fuel tank pressure sensor can vary. Sometimes it's up on top of the gas tank. Sometimes it's on the fuel pump, different things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor. Also keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the fuel tank pressure sensor, then that's also going to cause issues. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad fuel tank pressure sensor. The next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad vent valve or possibly the charcoal canister. And basically up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere is going to be called a charcoal canister. And quite often the vent valve is built into the charcoal canister. Sometimes it can be separate, but usually it is built into the charcoal canister. And if that vent valve gets stuck open, then that can cause a leak. That can cause issues. Also, if there's any damage to the charcoal canister, then that can also cause a leak. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad vent valve or a bad charcoal canister. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0456 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.